What up guys, your boy Quake, and there seems to be some family feud going on behind the scenes between Kanye West and Jay-Z. Now this clears up a lot. If you guys haven't heard Jay-Z's new album, 444, I'm not going to ruin it for you guys too much, but there's some bars in there where he's going at Kanye West and supposedly telling him that he fronted him $20 million for the title deal. For those that don't know, Kanye West is signed to title as an exclusive artist, and he owns about 3% of the company, 3.5%, somewhere around there. So he's contractually obligated to release music on Jay-Z's streaming service, Tidal. So whatever project, whatever song he drops has to drop exclusively on there. But there seems to be some behind-the-scenes issues. Kanye West supposedly is trying to leave Tidal because they owe him $3 million. Now these issues have been happening behind the scenes before Jay-Z dropped his 444 album where he's taking shots at Kanye West. And this is probably what prompted Jay-Z to even send out those lyrics dissing Kanye West, you know, mentioning that he affronted him $20 million. A lot of people are tying it to the rant that Kanye West went on in about October 2016 where he's taking shots at Beyonce, you know, saying Jay-Z didn't call him when he had a family issue and before we didn't know where these bars came from we just assumed is from the Kanye West rant in 2016 but this makes things a lot more clear now that this information is out there that Kanye and Jay-Z are having behind the scenes issue with title because if you li if you listen to the Jay-Z lyrics on the kill Jay-Z song he's basically referencing a lot about title and him fronting the 20 million for the title deal so I'm almost willing to bet this is where these lyrics came from this is why Jay-Z decided to go at Kanye I probably has nothing to do with the 2016 rant maybe a little bit but not too much so now let's go over the article that TMZ broke and it says Kanye West a key player in Jay-Z's title stable has left the company over a money dispute and title has threatened to sue him sources connected to the title tell TMZ Kanye has been unhappy with the company for a long time we're told Kanye has complained the company owes him money, more than $3 million. Our sources say a month ago Kanye's lawyer sent a letter to Title saying the company was in breach and the contract was terminated. Over the next two weeks, lawyers for both sides tried to resolve the conflict but failed. We're told two weeks ago Kanye's lawyer fired off a second letter declaring again the contract was over. So clearly, with what this article is saying, Kanye wants to leave badly. I mean, I would want to leave too. I don't know why these streaming services are doing exclusive contracts with artists. It doesn't motivate me to get the streaming service anymore because I can get the music somewhere else. Exclusive music just it limits the music from getting out there more. It's stupid in my opinion. It hasn't motivated me. I don't think it's motivated a lot of other people to get the streaming service. I think it's just all about user experience. But that's just me. So continuing on, Kanye's decision to split from title predates to the release of Jay-Z's album in which he trashes Kanye. And we're told Kanye has no advanced knowledge of Jay-Z's lyrics. Basically saying this is before Jay-Z released the album and Kanye had no knowledge that Jay-Z was you know, sending shots at him on that album. So continuing the article... It goes off by saying, we're told Kanye's beef with Tidal is twofold. His The Life of Pablo album resulted in one and a half million new subscribers to Tidal, for which he was supposed to get a bonus, but the company hasn't paid. Kanye also says they need to reimburse him for the music videos. So clearly, you know, The Life of Pablo being exclusively released to Tidal brought in some new subscribers to Tidal, and apparently he's supposed to get a bonus for that, but they haven't cut in the check, so I'm assuming that's where the three million comes from. And they haven't paid for the music videos he's done. But Tidal responds by saying, Tidal's position is that Kanye didn't deliver the videos required by the contract. Kanye's response, I'll deliver the videos when you pay me what I'm owed. And so I just back and forth situation here. You know, money money ruins a lot of things with people, man. Uh, continuing the article, we're told the title fired off letter to Kanye saying as far as the company was concerned it still had an exclusive contract with the rapper and if he tried to go another streaming service they'd sue him we're told Kanye is willing to walk away but if Tidal sues him he'll sue them right back so Tidal isn't backing off they're they want him as an exclusive artist I mean if they sign the contract Kanye got to deliver I mean I know he's upset he probably didn't get the money but I'm sure Jay-Z is good on paying him I mean they're close at least they were previously close I don't know what's going on now it seems very wishy-washy you know when money gets involved a lot of bad things go on with artists and they just stop talking to each other and possibly never you know 
become friends again or do music again or even do business again you know you know what happened with dame dash and jay-z they may be somewhat on cool terms but they're never doing business again so this is just you know this clarifies a lot of what jay-z has been saying on the 444 album so with that being said let me know what you guys think do you guys think this is where the bars came from because we didn't know this previously we just assumed it was from the 2016 rant of him going at beyonce and jay-z which was a valid reason to you know spit some bars at him take some shots at him but this clarifies it a lot and let me know if you guys you know do you guys really mess with uh streaming services uh, allowing you know do you guys go to streaming services if there's exclusive music dropped there by your favorite artist do you guys subscribe to the streaming services i know i don't it doesn't give me incentive to use it at all clearly you know the kanye dropping his album resulted in one and a half million new subscribers to title which is good but i feel like if title doesn't keep delivering exclusives people are just going to unsubscribe and not even have a streaming service or move on to something else I just don't like Tidal's user platform, but we're getting away from the topic here. But let me know, do you guys use streaming services based on exclusive? Do you guys just use what the user interface is? Do you guys like you know, other streaming services? Do you guys think they're gonna get this resolved? I don't know, I feel like once Kanye's working on music, once we get something from Kanye, I feel like it's gonna progress and it might get worse or it might get better, we never know. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you guys on the next one, peace.